Hey guys, it's Thursday, August 27th, and guess who rode her bike to work? First thing you need to know is that last year for my graduation present, my parents got me a bike as a gift. Not just any bike. The Electra Townie 21 Speed in baby blue. One of the reasons I was so excited to get this condo was that it was only two and a half miles from work. I could totally bike there. Except living two and a half miles from work means that you can drive there in about five minutes, which is really nice if you like to sleep. Anybody who follows me on Facebook knows I am a fan of sleep. So that's why it is three months later, and today was the first day that I finally got my bike out. And honestly, that was like the happiest commute I've ever had. There was a perfect balance of really unhappy hills and really happy hills. And honestly, two and a half miles is not that far on your bike. So hopefully I'll be able to turn this into a regular thing. Time to start my broken record of sorry I missed last week again. I was all ready to do it because it was Hungry Girl Week, and then I found out that Rift Tracks was showing a live performance, one time only, at a theater near me, and I had to go. And even though I reminded the entire 55 that I needed to be punished, nobody rose to the occasion, so I don't have a punishment to do. So this week, I chose the topic of enjoying your food. Sometimes it's not just what you eat, but how you eat it. If you plan out a nice, healthy meal for yourself and then eat it in front of the TV and not even look at what you're eating, you're not really enjoying the experience. Heating up a healthy choice frozen meal and then eating it right out of that plastic box, it's just not that appealing. Studies have shown that slowing down eating and enjoying the experience actually leads to eating less calories. So this week, I challenged the 55 to try to enjoy their food more and to see if it helped with the caloric intake. What I used to do all the time that I really haven't done in a while is really make my food presentable on the plate. This looks nice and fancy and presentable, but all it is is a frozen meal, some leftover salad, and a mandarin orange surrounding some cottage cheese. I honestly think that when I try to make my food look presentable, I end up choosing healthier stuff to put on the plate. So if you don't do that already and you're trying to find a way to enjoy your food more, try making it presentable on the plate. As much as I hate taking showers, I'm anxious to take one now. So I'm gonna cut this one a little short and say, Fiddies, have a great week enjoying your food and Kimmers, I'll see you tomorrow. Before I go, I'd like to introduce you all to Conchita, the part I'm playing in the next musical I'm in. Honey, you do not have to play innocent muchacho with me. I've seen girls like you come and go. Do you think that you were the first young thing he's brought here, promising to make a star? No. He will use you until he is bored with you, or until someone younger comes along. That's right. I get to talk like that the whole show. That's it for me. Bye!